T. Right. I said T. T means belt in the Korean language when translated to the contemporary English language. And on that note, we welcome you to this episode of the KCCN Online Taekwondo Training Series, where we shall be examining the concepts of belts in Taekwondo. In general life, be it civil, military, religious, belts form a part of living of our life. Taekwondo belts are of varying importance. But let us go straight into the full background of what Taekwondo belts stand for. Having said all those background information concerning Taekwondo philosophy and origin of the color, then let's go straight into the ideal colors used in Taekwondo. Generally, there are six colors approved by the World Taekwondo. If you remember, Taekwondo is generally categorized into two. We have the color belt category and the black belt category. Out of the six colors generally approved, Five of those colors exist under the color belt category. We call it the coup. And these, all these people under the color belt category are regarded as beginners, though beginners with different stages of knowledge. While the black belt is for the black belt category. Only one color belt there, but there are stages. We call it dan, different dance. Now we go into the very the simplest of all the colors, which is white belt. Each of the colors we use in Taekwondo have a meaning. For white belt, we call it Hin Sek Ti. White is Hin in Korean language. Sek is color. T is belt. Hin Sek Ti means white color belt. And it means purity. It means peace. It means coming with the right mind to train. We don't train Taekwondo because we want to go and avenge. We don't come to Taekwondo because we want to use it as a, a tool for criminality. We come to Taekwondo for peace, to build a more peaceful world. That's our entry point, white belt. Then two stages, junior white, senior white, we move to the next belt level. And the next belt level, as we have it here, is color what? Yellow. Color yellow. Yellow stands for gold. It's at the same time, it stands for the rising sun. When a student ties this yellow belt, you are expected to begin the journey of hard work because to get gold, it takes sweat. That is why color belts of yellow means the starting of the journey of hard work. In Korean language, color yellow is called Noran Sek. Noran is yellow. Sek. Color T is belt. Noran Sek T. Yellow color belt. Junior yellow, senior yellow, then you are promoted to blue belts. This is blue. Blue belt. Blue belt. What does this represent? I'm sure you know it. Ocean or the sky. This is limitless, unlimited. When you are tying the blue belt, it means you come into an environment of unlimited knowledge, unlimited access to information. Anybody tying the blue belt color has come to a point of opening the heart up to receive more instruction, to learn more, so that you can become better and better in Taekwondo. And in Korean language, blue is called parent. 
blue color parasect. Then blue color bird means parasect. Then Judah blue, Sino blue, that student goes to the next best color, which is, can you guess the next best color? Can you guess? Yes, you got it. You got it. Brown birds. Brown birds. This is called gal sec. Brown is gal, sec is color, and T means bird. Gal sec T. Brown color birds. This stands for the color of the earth. The earth is brownish. And it means, remember in bluebirds, you are going, you are looking for the sky. You are going up, you are opening up your horizon, but you must have a firm root. As you are growing up, you must be growing deep. Then a brown bird means you must have a firm foundation. You must stand firm. Your knowledge must be deep rooted as you wish to go to the sky. Brown bird color, junior brown, senior brown. Then we move to the next color, which is red bird. This is the red bird. And at the red bird level, you are on fire. You have energy. At the red bird level, a student at the red bird level is expected to bring out all that he or she has learned from the beginning to the point of showcasing it. At this point, you are to be on fire. You are to be on the top of your actions, on the top of character on the top of the technical base of Taekwondo. And remember from the bird, this is the peak of the color birds. From white to yellow, from yellow to blue, blue to brown, and here are the red. From this level now, we now move into the next category of Taekwondo, which is the black bird cadre. And in the bladder cadre, we have nine stages. We have first dan, second dan, third dan, fourth dan, fifth dan, sixth dan, seventh dan, eighth dan, and the last one is ninth dan. The last you can guess while you are alive is ninth dan. Ten dan comes as posthumous when you are dead. Now, for each of the birds that you have done in the color birds, there is a pumsi attached. Then when you see people come with additional colors like green, orange, they are just um, at discretion of the club. They are not on the official list of colors of birds in Taekwondo because there are no pumses attached to those colors of birds, except the ones that we have shown you. Now, come to the black bird level, there are nine stages, as I said, then there are pumses attached to each of the levels. Then the simplest one is choreo, from Koryo, we move to second dan, Kungan. From Kungan, we move to the next dan, which is Tebe. From Tebe, we go to Pyongyang. From Pyongyang, we go to Shijin. From Shijin, we move to Jite, which is sixth dan. From Jite, we move to Chongkwon. From Chongkwon, we move to Hensu. And the last one, which is the ninth dan, is called Ilio. Then this is the peak of the, of the Blackbird Kada. Now at this point, let us see what we mean by stripes on the birds. There are some birds that come with stripes. Though, remember, every bird has two stages. The stripe on the birds signifies, like now, this is a brown bird with a red stripe. It means this is Sino brown bird because the next bird after brown is red. Then the, it means this student is in brown bird, but the Sino brown bird ready to go to red bird. That is what the stripes mean. And in color bird, the stripes often come like this. Whereas at the black bird level, we have what we call stripes as well. But the stripes at the black bird level come into form. When you see a student tie a black bird with red, a combination of red and black, it means such student is a black bird, huh? but not yet an adult. Is an, um, a kid, a teenager, 
black birds are. By the time he or she gets to adulthood, the color of the birds will come into full black as we have on my waist. Then at black level now, you have seen, you must have seen some instructors that have stripes on the birds. When you have one stripe, it means you have first down, first degree, second degree, third degree. That's ideally what the stripes on the black birds means. And generally at this level, you want to believe that your knowledge of Taekwondo birds has been upgraded. We wish to hear from you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And we expect your comments so that we can serve you better. Thank you and see you in the next episode. Chirit! Chungye! Tai. One.